Welcome back to Real Surf Stories. The year, 1985. The Billabong Pro Sunset Beach was held in a solid mix of north and west swells, colliding onto the famous bowl of Paumalu. It was a time of change, with the old guard of Mark Richards, Rabbit, and Sean Thompson getting taken out by the new guard of Tom Curran, Aki, and Barton Lynch amongst others. But Hawaii, and Sunset Beach in particular, favors experience over flamboyance. Sean Thompson explains. I think the favorite guy has to be Mark Richards. He's just got the great experience. Uh, he looks like he's doing pretty good in the semi-final and he's kind of, a, I suppose, it'd be, it'd be sort of a sentimental favorite. He hasn't done that great in the last couple of years and it would be great to see him do well in this event. Most of the other guys you're competing against, with the exception of a few Hawaiians, uh, don't really know Sunset well. They don't really know the lineup. They don't know the break. So experience plays a big part. But Well, I think Sunset especially is mastering the lineup. It's difficult to uh, select the right wave. You have to be in the right... Uh, uh, right bowl section to get a good long ride. You can't take off too far over on the North Peak uh, because you might not make the wave. Then you can't take too far over on the West Peak because your ride's going to be too short. So you really have to be able to read the ocean out there. You have to have your lineups planned out on the land. I have certain lineups that I use and there's certain boils out there in the water that most of the guys uh, know about. So once you can pinpoint your lineup, it makes it a, a, a lot easier. And uh, the key is to get those right waves to wait, to be patient and uh, to make sure you get the good long big rides. Hi, I'm Tom Curran from California. Hi, I'm Mark Papalupe from Australia. Hi, I'm Mitch Dawson from Western Australia. Hi, I'm Tony Moniz from Hawaii.
I got caught once on the inside. We were trying to fight for positioning. And the wave just cleaned all of us up. I did do some, got one great wave, but I got a few odds and ends this time. I had one big one, a real big one I couldn't get around, and uh, a couple of other shorter ones. So I didn't get really four great rides, so I'm not real confident. Well, I'd really like to, but uh, I'd like to see how I did in this heat and then um, take it from there. Yeah, I had a terrible time at there. I only caught three waves, and uh, I found myself like in a really bad rhythm with the surf, whereas the other three guys would get a wave and just, uh, they were just battling around me and getting better waves than me. And I kind of dug myself into a hole and couldn't get out of it. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty confident. Just gotta get four good ones. Hopefully I get a couple barrels. Basically catch four waves. It seems to be the best waves are the waves that wall up across the inside. Uh, I think the person will win, who wins will be the person whose wave selection is the best. So I'm just going to try and attempt to catch the best waves.
the fourth place winner. He is Barton Lynch. Fourth place, Barton Lynch. In third place, Hawaii's Tony Moniz. Second place, Tommy Curran. And the winner, Mark Richards. Emma. $4,500 to Mark Richards. $2,500 to second place, $2,000 to third, and $1,300 to fourth.